Alrighty y'all, For Honor, like any game these days, has references to other games, history, or easter eggs. Some more obvious than others, and this week we are going to walk through some For Honor easter eggs, hidden details, or references. Let me know if you knew any of these already, or if there are some that you didn't know. We'll get right into it. Let's start out with a simple one that seems to be in nearly every game now, and that is a Dark Souls reference. If you go to Warden and select the Mythic Outfits and scroll down a bit, you will see a particular outfit that will catch your attention. If it isn't obvious, the Solaris outfit is a nod to Dark Souls, and there is even a Praise the Sun emote that you can buy. It's a nice little nod to the game, as it has become a staple in modern gaming. Let's move to the movie aspect and a very particular famous horror icon, The Ring. Now, I can't show the movie clip that this signature references due to copyright, but I'm sure you can figure it out right here. Yep, your Ferrana character will start to crawl and jitter like Sadako from the ring. It's a nice nod to a very popular horror icon, and many of you old boomers out there might recognize it. Keeping with the horror theme, let's swap over to game references. Not too long ago, there was a Dead by Daylight crossover event, and it was one of the better ones that we have seen. If you were fortunate enough to have an abundance of steel, you could purchase different illustrious effects, finishers, and signatures. I'll show a couple of them here. Now, I don't have all of these finishers, and they are arguably better than some of the ones we have now, but there is no telling when DVD and For Honor will do a collab again. Ubisoft loves to reverence their own games, and there's no surprise that this is the case in For Honor. Assassin's Creed and the Rabbids have been showcased, but there is one that many might not know about located in Breach. If you are on Walled City and go to the Commander phase and look up by the statues, you can see a Division logo on each of the flags. Yeah. Soldiers charge! These next few details can be found in Breach, such as in Store Stronghold. If you go to point 8 in the final Commander phase and look up, you can see the Jormungandr symbol. This is where the Jormungandr worship their god. And also in Store Stronghold, if you go to the Guardian, you will find the most unique Guardian room, as the Guardian is standing on top of a map of the For Honor world. This is another small detail. In Breach, when you look at the points, the decorations will change colors based on which team controls them. Now this final one is a stretch as it possibly pertains to Rosie the Riveter. Rosie the Riveter was a real person and the star of a campaign to recruit women to work in factories during World War II. Like I said, this is a stretch, but this Valkyrie signature reminds me of her. Let me know if I'm right about this or it's just a coincidence. Alrighty, let me know how y'all like this one. As my computer is beeping at me because my stop beeping, bruh. 
okay, never mind. It's just going to keep beeping. But anyways. Don't forget to subscribe to become a seal, baby. And I'll see y'all in the next one.